Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at this week's Warhammer preview. We've got quite a lot of products to go through in this week's pre-order preview. And if you're a Stormcast Eternals fan, then you're in for a treat. And we're going to get some news on those dragons as well. So let's get cracking and we'll go through all the items that were shown in this week's Warhammer preview on the Warhammer community site. Let's get started with this big guy, Lord Commander Bastian Carthalos. And this is the head honcho of the Hammers of Sigma. It's a pretty good looking model, this a great pose striding along the cloak's fantastic it's got this huge hammer which is a meteoric grand hammer called uskavar uh, the base is looking pretty cool too so all around a really great model these single models that they release i don't normally get them they're usually a little bit expensive for me um, i did get one of the Wurgog profits for the bone splitters but that was like 15 pound i think this is going to be more over 20 probably i should imagine um, but it looks great so if you're needing uh, head guide for your army then this could be it and next we've got another hero figure the knight relictor so this looks like it's going to be released on its own as well so maybe a little bit cheaper than the one we've just seen but this looks great again i really love the black that they've included in this the black and gold and blue looks pretty cool i've gone for a complete black theme with my stormcast eternals that i'm painting from the dominion box set that i'll be using in Warcry. but this guy looks pretty cool too so some really great models there's so many Stormcast models, it's just amazing they can keep putting them out and come up with some that look good. So another one there for your army. We've got loads more to look at for Stormcast and these are the Vanquishers next. And so these are looking pretty cool, very similar to the Vindictors in a way, except they've got these double handed swords. So these look really great. And these guys are elite swordsmen who meditate with their swords until their spirit becomes one with these mythical blades. So there we are. So we've got a mix of male and female models here. And I'm pretty sure I read that they're going to have like all helmets or or you could have them without helmets. So you'll have a nice mix of different heads that you can glue on. And I also think these are going to be able to be posed however you like. They're not push fit. So not like the ones in Dominion that were push fit. You'll have a lot more flexibility with these. Next, we've got what's probably my favourite product from this week's preview, and that's the Vigilors. And these look awesome. I like any kind of sniper or ranged unit. And so these are looking really good. They're coming in with a lightweight variant of the Thunderstrike armour. And they've got these awesome robes as well. Some really great poses there. And yeah, I think these are definitely my favourite. And I think, again, they're not going to be push fit, so you can build them in different ways. And you've got a mix of some with helmets, some without, male and female as well. So you can really mix it up and have a good variety in your army. And altogether, there's 10 models there. So lots to choose from. You've got one guy with a map and all sorts going on with the bows and swords. But these are my three favourite poses, I think. I think these look fantastic. Real action pose. One guy's reaching back to load up and you've got the other two there just waiting for the battle. So these are cool. For me, though, 10 is just too many. I can't use 10 in Warcry. And I've got so many to use if I do get into Age of Sigma. I'm a bit slow on it at the minute. I haven't really took to it as much as I thought I would. Um, so I'll probably be leaving this. But if I could get half a set or split a set with someone, then that could be an option. Because some of them are really great. And I think it would be fun to have in Warcry. Next, we've got the Praetors. And you're going to get three of these. And these are the ones from the Dominion box set. So these would be push fit ones then, I guess. And so some great models, though. Really nice. I think the poses are really good anyway. So it doesn't bother me if they were push fit or not. But if you can still get hold of the Dominion box set, which I'm pretty sure you can in most places, then that's well worth it. And don't forget to enter my competition where I'm giving a box away next month. So, yeah, plenty of opportunity there to get some extra Stormcast and Cruel Boys for your army if you get lucky. There's also going to be some Annihilators and there's going to be a pack of three here. They're not are they coming with the shield. Doesn't say if they do or not. So it looks like we've got the double hammers with these guys. So they're going to be different to the ones in the Dominion box set. So you might be able to put these together in different ways. Um, but looking at them, there's probably going to be not much variety you can do anyway. Because these are kind of just big tanks really. So there we go. So we've got those as well. Not done yet with the Stormcast. Now we've got the Vindictors. And these look like the ones from the Dominion box set as well. So if they are, they're going to be easy to build. And you're not going to have much choice in how you pose them. You'll have some different heads you can choose to use if you want to. So if you can either go helmets or not. And again, a mix of male 
or female, and they're going to come in a pack of 10, but great models. Again, if you can get Dominion, definitely do it. Been looking forward to these dragons for a while now, was hoping they would come out pretty soon, and at least to find out the price as well, see how much they're going to be. Gobsprack was a bit more than I thought, so I had to leave him. Um, when I just compared it to some prices of different box sets and things, I couldn't justify it. But it'd be interesting to see how much these dragons will be. And it tells us that they're going to be available in December or hopefully in December. So it looks like there's been some more transporting issues holding them up. But with a bit of luck, we should be getting them in time for Christmas. That takes care of all the Stormcast Eternals, so a good amount there if you're looking to add to your army. But now we've also got some more Cruel Boys available. And here we've got the Man Skewer Bolt Boys. Again, we saw these in the Dominion box set, so these are going to be available on their own now. I think once we get the prices for all these, that Dominion box set is really going to stand out as a bargain. And I think a lot of people are going to pick it up. But these are great. Again, easy to build, but some really good miniatures and fun to paint as well. Really had fun painting these. And we've also got a box of 20 Hobgrot Slitters from that Dominion box set being released separately. I didn't like these much at first, especially the ones with the helmets. I didn't really get on with those. Um, but when I did the Warcry deep dive video for them and found out the stats for the fighter for the Hobgrot Slitters and the Hobgrot boss, they're pretty good. And now I want to be using a lot of these in Warcry, actually. And I could almost have a, a Warcry Warband built around them. I think they're really good. The points value was really low. For what you've got so i think for warcry really good but if you want to add them to your army in age of sigma now you can next we've got some middle earth strategy battle game news and this is going to be an expansion called fall of the necromancer so this is going to be available and the supplement contains 13 narrative scenarios four legendary legions and lots more and that's coming out next weekend in both hardback and as an ebook format as well so they release quite a lot of middle earth now and again throughout this year certainly a lot more than we've seen for Warcry, that's for sure and um, so if you're into middle earth that's really great but you've also got some models here as well the witch king of angmar and this is going to be a plastic model as well and so you can build them as both mounted and on foot so there we go a little bit of news and a couple of models for fans of middle earth strategy battle game Oh, hang on, we've got some more though. Here's the Ruins of Dol Guldor. And uh, these look pretty straightforward, actually. It almost looks like the kind of um, insulation that you use to build these different models. So I think this would be a good uh, photo to copy and use that insulation if you wanted to give it a go. Statue's pretty cool, but the rest of it, I think, would be really easy to build. Even out of cardboard and some um, grout. Well, that would be quite, quite straightforward. But there we go, there's that. And looking at the next product that's coming here is these dice, and I think these look great. These remind me a little bit of the Warcry dice, which I think they did a great job on. I think those were really good. Uh, it might be hard to see some of the little numbers on the ones on the right, but uh, it doesn't really matter. They look awesome. I think the ones on the left are my favourite. That green and black is really cool. So I, I like dice, and um, if I played this, I'd probably get those. They're really good. Right, so that takes care of the Middle Earth strategy game. And now we've got some more products coming from Forge World. And this is going to be for Blood Bowl. And these are going to be available to pre-order next Friday. So we don't have to wait till Saturday for that. And the first one is this one, Creek the Verminator Rust Gouger. And so he's going to be available. So looking forward to that. This one's not for me. I won't be picking this one. In fact, I've never ordered from Forge World. But this next guy, Wilhelm Cheney, I think um, might be one model that gets me to place an order with them so this looks good and i've got the necromantic horrors that will be painted and up on the channel real soon i've got blood bowl planned this month so look out for that coming towards the end of the month and i'll be doing some things for halloween for it as well so i can't wait for that but i think this guy would be a great addition to bring him in as a star player for the necromantic horrors and we're still going here's another model this time for adeptus titanicus and this is the acastus knight asterius and never played this game, not really appealed to me. Um, the aesthetic isn't for me for these, so uh, not really interested in this, but you might like it. So if you play this game, then this might be something you would like to add to your collection. And then we've got some pin badges, and this is a set containing 12 pin badges from Koyo. And this has got all different factions in there, including the Black, uh, Blood Angels, Gene Stealer Cults, and Drakari. So nice selection of 12 there. And it's also that gold uh, one for the Black Legion logo there. And it says 
that you'll have the chance to pull the Black Legion logo in an antique gold finish. So I guess um, that's not going to come in every set, but if you get lucky, you might get it in yours. And there's also going to be a comic from Marvel Warhammer 40,000, Marnius Kalgar, and this is a 112 page book this time, and it's going to contain issues 1 to 5 of the comic. But here's one of the other cool things that they've shown in the preview this week. It's the Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine Chibi Advent Calendar. So here we go. Can't believe it's going to be Christmas soon. We're already looking at getting products in for Christmas. But this looks pretty fun. If you've got kids, certainly it's going to be awesome. Um, so I think this could be on the list of one to get. Depends on the price, though. I've no idea how much this is. And even if they did one last year or not, I didn't see one. But if you've got any idea how much this will be, then let us know. It'd be great to find out. And this is made by Bandai. And it tells us in the article, I'll just read this bit, that the concept is simple. Behind each window of the advent calendar, you'll find a new chibi pre-painted in the colours of many of the most popular Adeptus Astartes chapters, including the Ultramarines, Dark Angels, Space Wolves, Blood Angels, Howling Griffins and Black Templars. What's more, the set includes a board for you to proudly display your collection as it grows. So if you've got kids, why not use them as an excuse to pick up one of these chibi advent calendars? I think it'd be pretty fun to add to the collection. But let me know if you'll be picking up one of these. It'd be great to hear what people think about it. But getting a real Christmas vibe from this guy as well. This would be a good model to convert for Christmas. I think he's got a real Santa vibe going on there. Right, now we're back into Halloween and the Black Library. And even more books. It's amazing. I say it every week just how many books they put out. It's crazy. But here we go. We've got a book called The Accursed. And this is a collection of Warhammer horror stories written by the likes of Peter Fehavari, David Annandale, Ray Clully, James Brogdon, and more. There's also an audiobook, which is an Adeptus Mechanicus audiobook called The Priests of Mars, written by Graham McNeil. And another audiobook called Cain's Last Stand by Sandy Mitchell. We made it to the end. Finally, we've got the Warhammer Plus update for Wednesday, where we're going to get the Masterclass painting video for White Armour and some more going into the Warhammer Vault and a Hammer and Bolter animation. I still haven't done that Warhammer Plus video. I've really got to do it. Um, just not that excited by it, to be honest. But I will do the video just to give you an idea of what I think about it so far. I did get that £10 voucher after subscribing for that two months, and I used that for the Harrow Deep set on the Games Workshop website, just to get those acrylic tokens included. I mean, if you bought this from one of the retailers like Element Games, you're gonna save a lot more. Get it for 52 pounds with a discount rather than 65 RRP. Um, but I paid 55 with that 10 pound voucher and got those acrylic tokens as well. So there we go, can't wait to get this. This will be unboxed next weekend as soon as it arrives. So really looking forward to that. I see it's had some mixed reviews. A lot of people put off by the price. I must admit, I didn't expect it to be £65. I was really surprised when I found out how much it was going to be. Um, but the models look great. The board looks good. And I'm really interested in this new Rivals format. So I think give it a go and we'll see what it's like. And um, yeah, I'll go through it all in the unboxing review anyway. So if you're not sure whether or not you want to get it yet, then look out for that video and I'll do a review. And then you can find out if it's something you want to add to your collection or not. So there's our weekly roundup of the Warhammer previews that will be available to pre-order from next Saturday and some on Friday as well for the Forge World there too. So looking forward to that and getting us ready for Christmas early on before Halloween's even been and come. So there we go. Lots to look forward to, especially if you're a Stormcast Eternals fan. You've got lots on offer there. But let me know what you think about this week's preview. Are there any products that stand out to you? What do you like? What do you don't like? I'd love to hear what you think. I mentioned earlier on in the video I was doing a giveaway for the Dominion box set, but that's not all. We've got an awesome model of the Fomeroid Crusher painted by the amazing Bjorn, who's done a fantastic job on that. We've got some Amazon £10 gift voucher and five copies of the PDF version of my new book, Weekend Warriors, that's going to be released really soon. So if you haven't entered that competition already, I'll put a link at the end of this video. So go check it out. Really easy to enter. Subscribe if you haven't already, and then just leave a comment letting me know where you're from, and I'll enter you into the competition. And the competition is to celebrate the upcoming first year anniversary of my channel, which will be November the 6th. And so this is my way of just saying thank you for all your support and helping me get through the first year. It's been a really great time, and I can't wait for year number two. 
Thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page, and thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome, we hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share our ideas and help each other out, and you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description, and it'll be great to see you there.